Hi there, this PowerPoint is designed to help IB history students with their paper one, question three, the compare and contrast question. The material in the PowerPoint is based on the work of David Didow, taken from his website, The Learning Spy, and much of the material also comes from Paul Hart's work published in his paper one Bible. There's also some information from the IBO in terms of some of the things from the mark schemes that were shared. This model will concentrate on option three for paper one, which is the rights and protests option, having looked specifically at the USA and the Montgomery bus boycott. The two sources that I'm going to work on with you are comment, uh, copied into the comments section below, and their full citations is there for you. So the IB is looking for a compare and contrast, and they're looking for you to make direct statements of comparison, so compare like for like. So if I was going to compare the door and the window, I wouldn't say that the door was made from wood and the window was square. Okay, I'm comparing the property of the door, wood, with the shape of the window. Instead, that like-for-like -like comparison, the door is made from wood, the window is made from glass. Use short, brief quotations from the document to highlight and show the examiners that you've read and referring closely to the document. And you should be aiming to write a running comparison. As you go through the source material, break it down into themes. So for example, as you read documents A and B, have a look for some of the different topics that are popping up. The leadership role of Martin Luther King, the role of other leaders, which organizations played a part, the role of the churches and faith. Remember in compare and contrast, you're focusing on the content, not who said it and why. So be careful not to sort of slip into OPCVL type material. So David Didow puts forward the comparison alley model for you. This way you have more space in the middle for the compare area, the things that are similar. If you draw a Venn diagram or a T-chart, sometimes you're not left with a lot of space in the middle. On the top left-hand corner, I'm going to collect information from Jackson. In the bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to collect information from Carson. And in the middle, things that they say that are similar, I'm going to plop right there in the middle. Paul Hart has you look for taste as you look for your compare and contrast. It's a generic tool and it doesn't apply to all of the sources, but it's a really useful memory aid to try to think about what types of things to look for. So why not sketch this out, press pause and have a go. You should be able to get two or three things in each of the different columns. The sources that we're looking for, um, sources that we're looking at today are probably a little briefer than you'll have a look at in the exam. So two or three things is sufficient. So press pause now and have a go. So you might have ended up with something that's looking like this. I'm already beginning to pick out words that I could use and thinking about what's going on in the two different sources and the things that they have in common. Now in order to organize the compare and contrast, one way that you can approach it is to do sort of all the comparisons and all the contrasts, but it doesn't necessarily leave yourself to very sophisticated writing, particularly when ideas are similar and different at the same time. So what I begin to do now is begin to identify some themes. And again, this is where this type of layout can really helpful, help you. As you can see here, I've identified all of the things that are to do with residents and community groups. Both of the sources agree that community groups were important. However, Jackson in Source A only really talks about the Montgomery Improvement Association and Carson only mentions the NAACP. So I've got a big thing they've got in common that both sources mention community group organization. However, A focuses on the MIA, whereas B focuses on the NAACP. So that's a way of bringing a comparison and a contrast together. So here are some ideas that I've collected from Paul Hart and also from the IBO mark scheme to remind you of what you should be doing. Paul Hart mentions that if you're short on ideas, you can fall back on source A says this, but source Y doesn't, then you won't, but you won't score as well as you do by linking material on both sources. So when you're wondering how much should you write, it's difficult to say a simple comparison or a simple contrast might not do you so well as something that's a little bit more sophisticated. If you have a look here, you can see this two sentence approach that Paul Hart suggests in his paper one Bible, that both of the sources do one thing and then specify from the sources afterwards. So this first sentence here kind of demonstrates the similarity or difference and the second sentence specifies what it is. 
As I said earlier, though, some of the compares and contrasts might be a little bit more straightforward and probably don't merit the two sentence approach. So you might want to have a far more simple approach here. It really is up to you how to approach it. One of the things that can prove challenging is an idea that's similar, at the, similar and different at the same time. So both of the sources agree that the king didn't come up with the boycott. It was the idea was already there. But but in B, perhaps there's more attention to king's leadership and what he did, whereas in A he talks about other leaders. So this is a way again that you can kind of add levels of thinking and also give that kind of thematic approach that makes the compare and contrast quite readable. The next two slides then have some ideas for extension and comparison words. You can press pause on these and have a go yourself. So hopefully this has introduced you to some of the ideas for compare and contrast. Um, as I said before, it's difficult to know how much you should write. You should be spending 15, 18 minutes on this um, question in the exam, certainly no more than that. I'm really looking for two solid comparisons and two contrasts, depending on the sources that you're looking at. Thanks for watching.